Welcome back to the workshop. It's fantastic to have you here because today we're going to be firing up the forge and making a Damascus Steel War of Poet Society slash Alex Steelco collaboration knife. We're going to be making the splinter. Now make sure you watch till the end to find out how you can win this Damascus splinter that I make today because I'm going to be giving it away to one of you. This episode is sponsored by ShipStation. You can get a 60 day free trial of their stress free shipping software by going to shipstation.com, hitting the microphone at the top of the screen, and typing in code FORGE. We got a big old slab of mosaic Damascus made, and so now we need to talk about the knife design itself. And conveniently, I have an example right here. This is the splinter made in collaboration with the Warrior Poet Society. You might remember, coming up on a couple of years now, we did an awesome collaboration with them. We made a zombie bayonet and it was a ton of fun. This is a project that's been in the works for a long time with some great minds working on it. Will spearheaded the design process, communicating back and forth with the guys at Warrior Poet Society. And by goodness, have they created this ergonomic masterpiece. The sheath allows for an awesome inside the waistband carry. And for legal reasons, based on where I currently am, that means if you needed to open a box in a pinch, you'd be able to. So we're gonna cut out a rectangle of this Damascus, go to the mill, thin it down, and see what the pattern looks like. Got the profile in there, and I'm getting ready to drill the holes, but have a look at this. This is a hardened 01 steel scribe. It is not at all scratching the surface of this. This is 1080 and 15N20 Damascus. Pomp quiz, Jamie. Do you know where you can buy that steel? Um, Ace? No. <laughs> Onto the bevels. We've scribed it. Let's go grind. The bevels are done. It's on to heat treat. Quenchy, quenchy. Done a little bit of this. Ooh. And now we hand sand. Having etched the blade in ferric chloride, it's now caffeinating to get a little bit more contrast. This is some bog oak. So a tree thousands of years ago fell down underneath a river or in a bog. And in that time, it went from normal oak color to this beautiful black. We used this same type of material on the Viking sword handle. 
a number of years ago. And as you can tell, I'm getting quite into my arts and crafts, using hot glue for as many things as I can possibly find uses for. I don't have a bandsaw, so I'm gonna try and get creative with the way that I hold this block to split it. Hopefully this works and I don't die. There we go. That actually worked a treat. Oh, that's looking quite nice. Good little bit of contrast there on the blade. Ooh, I like that. Welcome. Today I instruct you on how to use the emergency life preservation cardboard box opening tool known as the splinter. Plucking the loose fabric of your sweatshirt exposes the inside the waistband holster and with a swift pull you're able to release the ergonomic blade and handle design that allows for an effective punching motion to open up cardboard boxes when in dire need. Please ensure you only ever open cardboard boxes where legally and morally permitted to do so. This is a sweet little project today, making the Damascus version. Now, of course, I'm biased, but I think this is an utterly awesome EDC fixed blade. We've got a limited number of them available. They're made in the USA, so I'd be honored if you check them out. But if you want to win the Damascus one that I made today, simply drop a comment down below with your Instagram handle and make sure that you follow Alex Steelco and Warrior Poet Society on Instagram. And I'm gonna be picking one of you at random to send this to, provided you're over the age of 18. As you can tell by words unsaid, I'm still in the UK, but we still have a fantastic team at the Montana shop who's going to be shipping out your splinter orders using the platform of today's episode sponsor ShipStation where that integrates directly with any e-commerce platform enables us to get the shipping rates of a fortune 500 company while certainly not being one of that scale and allows us to use their powerful automations to turn shipping into a one-click operation no matter how much you ship whether it's a small amount or a large amount ShipStation can help you manage your orders and I know a lot of you guys are either a one or two person operation with ShipStation you can spend a lot less time shipping shipping and a lot more time growing your business. So please go get a free trial at shipstation.com. Go up to the microphone at the top of the page and type in code FORGE to redeem it. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you ShipStation for sponsoring this. See you soon. Bye-bye.